Good evening. You're watching Kangaroo Reports from Public Media and one Samuel Shefflin. Thanks for joining us. Despite a huge domestic and international headwinds, the conservative Hungarian government is still in power because of good economic results, said Viktor Orban at a conference on national conservatism in Rome. The prime minister added that Europe can only regain its competitiveness if it builds a work-based economy. Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte welcomed Viktor Orban on Monday afternoon in Rome. The Hungarian Prime Minister arrived in the Italian capital from Brussels to discuss with Italy's right-wing politicians the challenges Europe faces today. The Prime Minister was welcomed by former Italian head of government Silvio Berlusconi and by Giorgia Meloni, leader of the Brothers of Italy party as well. After the meeting, Georgia Maloney said Hungary was defending its sovereignty in a union which violates the freedom of nation-states more and more frequently. Therefore, the Hungarian government's border control policy, as well as family and tax policies, should be examined by Italy as well. Being successful. Economic success is a prerequisite for a conservative policy. This is what Viktor Orban said at the National Conservatism Conference. At the forum organized for right-wing intellectuals and politicians, the Prime Minister pointed out that achieving economic success was the only way for conservative and Christian democratic leaders to survive. If you are not successful, you, you, you know, there is no any kind of help and support from outside. If you make a mistake and figures of economy is going down, you are killed next morning. So we must be successful. I try to be as humble as I can, but, you know, last years we have had 4, four and 5 percent economic growth rate every year. Unemployment rate was when I have started uh, 2010, 12 percent. Now it's 3. The Prime Minister pointed out that Hungary had built a work-based economy instead of a welfare one. He added Europe would need to do the same in order to regain its competitiveness. There are no patients infected with the coronavirus in Hungary. This is what doctors who examined the Hungarians placed in quarantine reported today. The Chinese woman who arrived at the Budapest airport with a fever is feeling well. It turned out that it was not the coronavirus that infected her. For several days now, travelers arriving from China on direct flights have been checked for coronavirus at Budapest airport. This is how a Chinese woman with a fever was found on Monday. She started feeling ill on the plane. During the health check after landing, the thermometer showed that she had a fever of 39 degrees. They isolated the woman and brought her to South Pest Hospital Center. Janos Slavik infectologist reported that everyone being monitored in Hungary because they are suspected of being infected with the coronavirus is healthy. In other words, the coronavirus is not present in Hungary. It cannot be ruled out that travelers will arrive from China who have a fever or symptoms. But I really hope that with the current safety precautions in place, we will be able to allocate the potentially unsafe cases," Janos Slavik said. The anchor of M1's Chinese language news was recently in China visiting his family in Shanghai. The city is nearly 1,500 kilometers away from the center of the coronavirus outbreak. Despite the distance, they check drivers there as well. Everyone has to wear a face mask. He returned home to Hungary a few days ago. He does not have any symptoms. However, he will take a two-week leave. I do not have any friends in Wuhan, so I didn't meet anyone from there. I got the chance for my work to be able to stay at home for two weeks, so that I can be completely safe for others," Robert Wang said. This is the border crossing in Tompa, at the southern border of Hungary. Cars are being stopped one by one. They are also checking tourist buses arriving in the country. The police, as well as ambulance services, are jointly checking the Schengen external border crossings. Meanwhile, the operative board is continually discussing and analyzing the current state. If and when further precautions would be necessary, they are ready to take further steps. Today is World Cancer Day. Nine million people die of cancer worldwide every year. In Hungary, the situation is particularly bad because cancer accounts for every fourth death. However, according to doctors, most of the victims, some say half of them, could be saved. Five years ago, Marton Nietot had an operation for breast cancer. Since then, she has been asymptomatic. A routine screening checkup revealed that she had a tumor. And this woman also conquered cancer. She recovered some 10 years ago. Now she helps those in a similar situation through a foundation she established in Eger. A community of those affected can help a great deal. Methods that help relieve tension or stress are quite beneficial. They help patients learn how to accept themselves and create goals, the director of the foundation said. Worldwide, 9 million die of tumor-related diseases yearly. 
Around 33,000 individuals perish on a yearly basis in Hungary of similar causes. However, around a third of these cases could be prevented. It is the responsibility of medical specialists and family doctors to send patients in cases of suspected tumors to medical specialists. Patients, as well as healthy individuals, also have responsibilities in this regard. They must take part in regular screening checks, Károly Már said. In Hungary, all requirements are met to help treat those with tumors. Labs and modern radiation treatments are available. Cancer drugs are free. The Hungarian healthcare system finances 350 makes of related drugs. The Hungarian League Against Cancer is set to initiate an international campaign on preventing the disease. Among others, they confront individuals on the street and ask them what they do in defense of cancer. They provide them with information on the topic. The League will present screening examinations and give presentations on the issue countrywide. The water level of the river Tisza rose by 45 meters in the upper section within just a short period of time. This means that every year tons of waste is put in the river in the Romanian and Ukrainian sections. However, a smaller flood, uh, flood wave made it possible to put a special waste collection borage in operation at Vásárosnami. This excavator was collecting the waste from the river Tisza in the morning near Vásáros Namén. A flood wave is passing through the river. The water level has increased by three meters in the past 24 hours. A significant amount of the waste appeared due to the flood as well. The cameras overlooking the river already warned on Monday that a larger quantity of floating waste would be reaching the country. Water experts therefore decided to put a special machinery in operation, with the help of which they can easily remove a significant part of the waste. We started the preparations and the protection yesterday at 10 a.m. here in the river section at Vásáros The first wave of waste arrived around 5 p.m. By that time, our defense line had already been prepared and we could quickly remove the plastic bottles from the water, said this expert. The machinery consisting of two river dredges, a self-propelled barge and an excavator is a Hungarian invention. The water collector, worth 3.8 million euros, was now used for the first time. The system works very well, and since this is a big flood, we had the opportunity to test it and try it out in real life, Siklósi Gabriela explained. Next to the machines, dozens of experts of the Upper Tisza District Water Directorate are working on collecting the plastic bottles. Due to the significant cooling down in the upcoming days, water experts expect the flooding of the river Tisza to stop. Thus, the amount of floating waste is expected to decrease as well. An exhibition on the works of Andrea Erdmann Nealo, an amateur painter, was opened in Kaposvár. The artist has been interested in painting since her childhood, but she became engaged in painting more seriously as an adult. The subjects of her current exhibition, entitled The Magic of Light, are Montenegro and the Open Air Museum in Senna. Those interested can visit the exhibition until the 20th of February at the dormitory of the Ötvös Lorán Secondary Technical and Vocational School. The Maritime Museum in Mokla, 10 kilometers from Eger, showcases the special world of underwater life. The owner of the exhibition once served as a first-class sailor. The artifacts are on display in his home, presenting nearly 15,000 relics, such as old nautical maps, weapons and sailboat mock-ups, as well as corals and various shells. That's all for now, but we'll be back tomorrow night at around the same time and you can catch Hungary Reports online as well. Please stay tuned for our shows in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good night.